year 1873. David Livingston, the pioneering missionary to Africa, has just died. Because of this, a great wave of missionary enthusiasm builds and the call for workers, specifically for Africa, begins to ring loudly. Though many people surrender their life to missions work at that time, our focus today is on just one ginger-haired, blue-eyed, small-framed woman called Mary Slessor. But Mary had two problems. One, she was a woman, and two, she was single. What would she really be able to do? Two years after the death of Livingston, Mary set sail from the docks of Liverpool, England for the continent of Africa, being only 27 years old. Soon after her arrival, she began to see the scale of difficulty and seeming impossibility of the work to which she had embarked to do. Overwhelmed by the spiritual darkness of witchcraft, heartless and brutal chiefs, and the horrors of slavery, one evening she fervently prayed, Lord, the task is impossible for me, but not for thee. Lead the way, and I will follow. Rising from her prayer, she had a renewed confidence and said, Why should I fear? I am on the royal mission. I am in the service of the King of Kings. Little did she know that her royal mission would actually last nearly 40 years. Mary would trudge as the first European and the first woman into some of the most deep and dark parks of African jungles. She befriended chiefs and brought peace between tribes, rescued countless twin children who witchcraft had destined to die. She was the first woman magistrate. She stopped the burial of servants along their masters. She taught the gospel passionately from village to village, seeing many profess Christ. Mary was even the first woman to appear on a Scottish Clydesdale bank 10 pound note. Because of her zeal, love, and peacemaking, Mary Slessor was given the title Queen of Calabar and Mother to All People, but her friends would call her Ma. Mary was daring, courageous, bold, and a true pioneer for the gospel. She once wrote, Every woman has a mission to accomplish on earth. Not my plans, not my glory, but God's plans and His glory. Yes, Mary Slessor of Aberdeen, Scotland was a single woman, but she did not let that be a hindrance nor an excuse to her calling and service to Christ. Instead, she chose to live by her own motto, God plus one is a majority.